You're watching America's favorite new game show, where we play test indie games and ask the tough, important questions. What's it worth to you? What's it worth to me? What's it worth to them? Basically, all we're asking is, what's it worth? Take your pants off. Uh, Lost in the Dance, uh, as I like to call it, listen to my narration. All of my fucking narration. I worked really hard on this voiceover. Please listen to it. This is the voiceover subtitled. Yes. Okay, good. Well, yeah. That, that, that means that people can still see it while we talk all over it. The commentary on everything you interact with is long, and oh boy, it sure as hell is there. <laughs> all right, and so what are we doing here? We're trying to decide what we would pay for this. Yeah, yeah. Um, How much did you pay for this when you got it? Uh, well, the, the beauty of name your own price uh -huh. is that you can name your price to be zero. Where are you naming your price at? Just Game Game Jolt. Game Jolt. Game Jolt. Game Jolt yeah. dot com. There you go. That's the place. Didn't pay for this. Did not pay for this. No, but fuck Game Jolt dot com. If I can uh, say that because they didn't pay us for it. <laughs> See. I would pay for some of these games I have been playing, and there there's a slew of these. Have this you is... paid for any of those games yet? No, but okay. uh, this is the point of this, that I can put prices on the ones that I would pay for. Okay. Yeah. I mean, they do the same thing at a like, drive-thru RPG, where a lot of the games are pay what you want, and like so you can download it for free, but then after you get it, you're like, oh, I like this. I'll give you like five bucks. Yeah, and it's pretty. I mean, I'll give it that. And it, well, oh. but if it's just... How interactive is this? Because whenever I see a first-person game that's also very pretty, I'm just like, oh, cool, you downloaded Unity Tools 3D Kit. And, and that's essentially it, what this it, is. I, I really, it could stand uh, to be more interactive. I would put more of a price on it if it were. I like the concept, and the dialogue of it all is really creepy. It's a good effects on the TV that I can see the light in the room reflecting in the TV screen. This is the moment I took to uh, appreciate the use of the AOL door closing sound. Holy shit, it is. It yeah, is. it fucking is. Whoa. Wow. <laughs> I haven't heard that in like that, 15 years. They can probably use that now because it's been so long that AOL was out that the licensing rights fell off for that <laughs> sound. <laughs> it tickled my Either nostalgia. Either that or they're, or they're using the excuse, it's free, so who cares? Yeah, who gives a shit? Yeah. yeah. It tickled my, uh, my nostalgia bone so much that I added 10 cents to the price that I initially had when I first started <laughs> playing this game. Okay. Interesting. Now, uh, at some point, does someone leave, and then you say very awkwardly to them, Goodbye! No, no. unfortunately, no. You're, the protagonist does not speak. You just you just hear this this dry motherfucker just going on and on. Oh, wow. And on. <laughs> no, this was not a door she felt inclined to see the other side of. With a shiver, she turned away. Oh no, no, we don't, we don't want to go in the black door. And it's, it's just like he just announces my movements before I even make them or after. It all depends. Oh, okay, so this is a man narrating a woman, and you're the woman. Essentially, yes. I'm, I'm Anna, and that they say that name later. I don't think it's really that important to the story. What oh, the I hate name the is. stuttery, uh, the stuttery text as it's like, like they're. I guess they're yeah. pretending that it's a typewriter. I mean, but can, I'm looking at a laptop on the screen, so... I would prefer it if they just had the subtitle come out as one sentence, too. Yeah. I feel like that's a little bit a little bit cheesy. And they could have easily remedied that. Oh, well, I mean, when people do that, obviously it's a stylistic effect. They don't want you to read ahead. Oh, of course not. But also, one, some of the great things about... With how long some of these are, just, like, <laughs> it's like cares? you want to read ahead. Yeah. yeah. You really, You really do. Oh, uh, this has the uh, the same problem that Alan Wake has that I was talking about. Oh yeah, I just saw that Alan Wake video. It, yeah, it's all uh, it's all voiceover, no, no subtext. All sizzle, no steak. I mean, the steak is there maybe, but the steak doesn't have any sizzle. That's more the issue. Well, the, the steak is the story. It has a steak. I mean, this might not have a steak. I definitely don't have a steak in this game. Nice. Yeah, thanks. Nice. I appreciate it. That was very that. clever. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Pretty proud of it. <laughs> All right. <laughs> the 
changing table is locked? Yeah, for real. Like, uh, do you, uh, of are, all the things in the house that could be locked, <laughs> let's lock the let's lock the important items in the baby's changing table. Diaper thieves are a huge concern in this area. Apparently, uh, this, these all these first person explorer games suffer from the old, the old point and click adventure game issue of mm-hmm. I have to figure out the one stupid circuitous thing to get past this. Oh. It, it could stand to have some puzzles in it, you know, make it a little oh, less linear. Oh, it could stand to be a game. Is yeah, you're, you're right, saying? you're it right. It could stand to have, like, gameplay in this game. Well, I mean, oh, you know how we, we reacted to the PT, the Playable Silent Hills trailer, and now it seems... It was, it, yeah, it was seems fun. like other people... It uh, was a demo, it wasn't a trailer. Well, they, they called it Playable Trailer. They That's called what, it Playable Teaser. That's what the T stood for. Well, Teaser Trailer. Teaser. No, just Teaser. <laughs> okay. <laughs> teaser Game. All right, well, PT... Uh, apparently, there's that sound again. <laughs> I love that sound. <laughs> it's wonderful. It's wonderful. But uh, they uh, developers caught wind of how good it was and how popular it was, and they decided they want a slice of that indie pie. So they, uh, they just kind of ran with that idea. Oh, nice. It's, it, was it stuttering just because of your bad laptop's recording standards, or is it stuttering when you were playing it? Oh, it was stuttering when I was playing it, too. Okay, so it was the game. Then. It was the game yeah. itself. Yeah, I tried this on several different settings. I had some clipping settings with the uh, clipping problems with the door on the highest. Right. So I had to window it and just make it a little better. Uh, hey, anybody recognize that this couch? Uh, from The Sims? From the porn. <laughs> <laughs> what? Poor oh, black casting, porn couch. Casting couch or whatever. <laughs> okay. It's like a meme. Yeah, you wouldn't know. You, you wouldn't know because you're a, you're you're against memes. Because I don't because I don't know how to meme. You're an anti memer. Because you're a curmudgeon old man. I just whatever. <laughs> I, look, if the, if if the fact is that I don't recognize the porn casting couch in a video game, then I'm happy to remain in the dark. Hey, cool. You know. Yeah. There are things... you just watch couchless porn. What kind of world do you live in? (laughs) What kind of world do you live in? The couches in my porn are uh, are from the seventies, and they have those really nice flannel stripes on them. Oh yeah, they're 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 orange and brown, and there's so many. You know the ones with like the pine trees. It's like you look at it and you're just like, if you walked in there with one of those UV lights, you'd fucking blind yourself. (laughs) Oh, absolutely. The whole couch would change change the one color. This is a uniform fluorescent white. Oh, oh that man. was it. I'm glad it's out. Yeah, it takes it takes you about seven. All right, so to, you to said uh, you said then I'm under the assumption that it operates on an episodic basis. Now uh, the if... website said it was twenty to thirty minutes long. No, <laughs> wrong. Maybe if you like click on every little thing and listen to the dude fucking talk his ass off about it. Yeah, maybe, but I don't have that kind of time. I did it in seven. All right. So um, I'll uh, if they clean it up, add some puzzles, make it a little less linear. It looks great. Uh, I'd probably go about a dollar per episode. Okay. I I'm honestly I'm a little relatively impressed with the whole like it's part of the Ludum Dare uh like thing. So like the fact that they made this in seventy two hours, it shows. Yeah, it, it definitely shows mm. that they made this in seventy two hours. But you know. Uh, the new standard for games that were made in the 72 hours uh, was set by uh, Super High. <laughs> Which was made in... 12 hours? Oh, yeah, Maybe Super less. Hot's getting huge. Uh, yeah, and that, and that was, was awesome. that was for the Game Jam. And Super Hot's a fantastic game that uh, was made also under a time crunch. And it remembered to put a game in it. <laughs> Fair. So for that... Exploration's all well and good, but you gotta give us some substance. You gotta give yeah. us some seasoning. At least like something that'll make me want to continue playing. Exactly. The, the, and especially if it's just the short, this isn't worth any amount of money yet. No, totally. I wouldn't no. pay anything for If this. they were to remain episodic, then absolutely. I, uh, I like the, the whole inner turmoil concept and the outside force that's controlling it. That's kind of neat. It's a little dark. It's a little long-winded. But it's pretty good. Not bad. Okay. Next!
So this one's Detective Horus. Uh, this is from a guy who played a lot of Saints Row and read a lot of Deadpool. So okay. You're in for a treat. Oh, good God. Ooh. Oh. 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 <laughs> okay. Oh, no. Oh, yeah, exactly. He's the horse. More eggs in my tea, please. All right, let's look at my things to do. Walk the human, break dance routine, star in video game, don't break the fourth wall. So I read a review of this. Okay. And I'm not sure if I agree. Uh-huh. Makes Bojack Horseman uh -huh. look like My Little Pony. <laughs> what does that mean? <laughs> why, why would someone want to do that, number one? Because internet. And number two, this is just a, a man with a horse for a face. Yes. This is not, it's uh, not a this horse. This is not a horse. Not a full-fledged so horse. So it's not Bojack Horseman at all. This is just a man and a horse. Like I said, it's, it's a review. That I, that I read. Well, reviews are terrible. Yeah, well, they <laughs> often are. Yeah. It's because, you know, this game is the... It's the Dark Souls of... No, it's not. This game has nothing to do with that, but everything is Dark Souls nowadays. What game is this the Dark Souls of, then? Nothing. Okay. It's not the Dark Souls of anything. <laughs> if anything, it's it's the L.A. Noir meets Saints Row, but only one road. I had a lead from a reliable source. And no, it wasn't a homeless person who was peeing on a dumpster. He brought me a taco, too. Okay, um... And it so can't... You're, you're, you're talking over all the dialogue here, so, te so tell, tell us what, uh, what this game is about. Uh, this game is about uh, a detective that is a horseman-type okay. creature. Okay. Um, detective horse face. Yeah, yeah, and uh, you can't you can't walk down even the first fucking hallway here. You can't walk without there being a gag, and there's another gag. That was a gag. Yeah, and there's a, like a little quippy type dumb thing like that. You know, it's it's two in the same corridor, and that's just you're trying. So, so all right, all right, all right. So it's, hard to, little... it's hard to tell because none of this looks like gameplay. Uh, you were moving down that hallway. Yes. You were pushing a controller, keyboard, whatever. It's just in one direction. That's it. Okay. That's all it is. And now, and, and and you now moved, we're you at moved a... down this hallway, you fell down twice, and now we're in a cutscene. Oh. Move a little. Cinematic. Little cinematic. Move okay. a little more. Little cinematic. Now, Move it, a little it, more, it... and now we're back in full cinematic mode. Okay, and now... so, so you're telling me that this is a, a, a Hideo Kojima. This is what he's been doing in his spare time. <laughs> you know, this game is it, it, it kind of is as on a weird scale like a Kojima game. You know, because it's just weird enough, but it's, it's, it thinks trying a little too hard. You know, you know what bothers me. Pacing is horrible. Just about this character design is that uh, his sunglasses really look like his eyes. So every time I catch sight of his horse eyes, way in the background, not anywhere close to where his sunglasses are, it confuses me. And they look like little blue circle ears. So I just feel like they should get rid of his eyes altogether and just have the sunglasses. Ugh, robots always gotta break into houses. I hope you haven't. Sure. Right, Here's robots. where you would assume the game starts, right? Where, where the robots pop in? And you would think that I would have to fight the robots. No, you press E to investigate. But there's no fighting of the robots. The robots just kind of fuck off, and then we get to a driving portion. Uh, you jumped off a window? I jumped out the window, the robots broke through. Is the game flicking us off? Yeah. Kinda. Uh -huh. Fuck you too, game. <laughs> fuck this horse person. All right. So, so yeah. So we also bought the uh, the engine for cars, but not the engine for car shadows. It looks like it's kind of a shadow. Yeah, but you can see the edges of it too. You see over there on the uh, right hand side of the road, you see that line right there. That's why we <laughs> that's where we didn't erase all of the the Photoshop uh, terrain texture. Get ready for awful joke in three, two, one. Jump the shark. Oh, <laughs> that's, that's I don't hate that. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I really don't. That's funny. I mean, if you're gonna jump the shark, it's best to do it within the first thirty seconds of your game, because this is already more gameplay than you had in that hallway. So I'm counting this as the beginning of the gameplay. <laughs> so for all we know now, this is just a strict driving game. The gameplay is mostly driving. Okay, so it's a driving game then, where mm. you're 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 a horseman driving a car. Not quite. I mean, there is driving, but is it exclusively driving? No. 
why is the color changing from green to normal to whatever black and white? It's dramatic. Um, you didn't really do a lot of turning. That's in not that where I, that's not portion. where I would have put a loading screen exactly. or a cutaway. Yeah, well, I thought something was about to happen. It's implied that there's a crash. No, it's. It's it set up that there may be a crash. Yeah, and then we cut away before we had <laughs> before the animate the, before the, the climax, crash. right? Oh, it's just a big because we'd hate right? we'd hate to have to do that extra work of the explosion. <laughs> exactly, graphics. that's Ex just thirty or forty more cents in the Unreal Store. Explosions are hard, but you know what's easy? Setting back transgender rights with this next awful sequence in the hospital. What? Oh yeah. Okay. So. Oh yeah. Okay. All right. Number one with my problem with what you just said. Okay. I doubt this game is going to do make enough of a splash to set back anybody's rights. Let's not worry too much about what uh, whatever this is happening is. Apparently we're now a horsewoman. Because, because we accidentally had a sex change? We accidentally had a sex change. That's not that big a deal. That happens sometimes in hospitals. It does. We were talking about Simpsons jokes earlier. I'm sure that's accidentally happened on the Simpsons. There's actually a, a pretty... I know that March accidentally got bigger boobs. She did. So their one, plastic one surgery can't be that great. Yeah, but I think Dr. Nick was associated with that. Well, you know, <laughs> Dr. Nick didn't know the difference between inflammable and flammable. Are you guys noticing all the dildos on the wall? No, I saw them. Okay, just making sure. <laughs> I was just, and now I'm in a soda machine. ignoring them. So why are there dildos on the walls? Just because. Just because we're a woman now? Just because. I, well, I think it's just because, period. There's like a... <laughs> there's a really... <laughs> Stop. If you're on your period, you shouldn't get anywhere near those dildos. It's going to make a huge mess. Or horses. Stay away from horses. But anyway, they can smell it, and it gets it gets their saddles dirty. Anyway, that. But, but anyway, there's a little bit of good writing up here where it's like, yeah, there, it's actually there. Believe it or not, there's good writing. There's a little bit of good writing in here. Okay. Uh, for one of the jokes, uh, and it actually uh, changed my opinion of this whole sequence. Because I really thought it's like, wow, you guys really, uh, really drug this one through the shit. This is a weird cell shading animation yeah. style. And there's a giant there's dildo. A giant dildo. It's weird how the dildos are always coming out of the walls or the floor. They're not just lying there. That'd it, be it hard. makes it. It makes me feel like it's not. They're not all separate dildos. It's just the hospital has many dildos that it's like they like it, it. It's part of the hospital's. Uh, it, it, you know, like the cilia the walls in your in your in your intestines. Yeah, yeah. yeah it just except they're all out. out. It's like it, this is the Silent Hill hospital, and what, what? There's that little bit. Of, there's that clever little bit of writing. Looking for me, sir. I require you to fix me a drink. Then is it fix me a drink? Because he's implying it's like. Hey, there's something wrong with me. Fix me, and then he just says a drink. So well, we're not a doc We're a not a doctor, though. So why would we want to fix him? No, he, he was telling the doctor to fix him. The horse, the horse lady person. No, the bear was the doctor. Yes. Oh. And now we're a dude again. See, ah. I've always thought that uh, bears worked better as uh, nurses, intensive care nurses, so they can give you big hugs. Care bears. Big hugs. Intensive Care Bears? <laughs> that's a BoJack Horseman joke. I think that's also a Robot Chicken joke. It wouldn't surprise me. This is, this is barely a thing. You're right. But it is. It is I'll, I'll, I will say this. It's, already, it's more of a thing than the last game was. It is more of a thing than the last thing. You're right. Uh, yeah. like the, this has the idea that there was some sort of a, a vision behind it. Uh-huh. Like, somebody wanted to make this game. I don't think anyone wanted to make the last game. I think the last game, just, they wanted to make a game, and they didn't know how to make a game, so they just pulled up the Unity tutorials, and they were just like, I can make you walk around, and I'm gonna make a horror, because that's easy, and it's mysterious, and you can't get out of the room, ah, oh, spooky. Whereas this is just like, this is a dude with an idea. And it's a weird idea. Very weird. Um, but he has the idea. It's weird enough to be on my r weird radar, and that's that's why I, I gave it a pretty decent price at the end. If it can figure out what it is... I wish it would stop flicking me off, though. Every time that happens, <laughs> that's really turning me off to it. Speaking of turning, let's see if he actually does any turning. Oh, no. Because in the be last another, sequence, this is it be was another, like, like straight it's on. Another, right? It's another straightaway, but there are some pretty sick jumps on it. As I can see that. There you go. Ah, uh, yeah. Mad Max right this there. This is ter terrible frame rate. 
Mm -hmm. Just absolutely horrible. This is how it was playing on your computer? Yeah. Wow. Oh, yeah. And this isn't even highest. Do you need a new computer? I'm getting one. I just need a way to... I'm just getting a power source. I don't... Can we blame the games for these graphics, or can we blame your... What's happening? I'm flipping. Uh... I'm flipping a lot. With extraordinary uh, uh, physics. Yeah, you're a little seasick from watching that. Aren't you? <laughs> <laughs> no, it's a little bit jerky. Yeah. And uh, it's kind of all over the place, and weird for the sake of being weird, and the writing is... Eh. But, you know... If it does figure out what it wants to be and uh, is a little less linear, has a little more uh, substance to it, I'd I'd pay a buck ninety nine per episode. I mean, it definitely seems like somebody. Are all these game jolt games gonna be episodic things? No. Okay. No, some of them are really good platforms. Because I really don't like episodic games. I think that you should make an entire thing and put it out. I don't think you should just make part of a thing and then be like, "Well, how do you live? What do you think about this?" And then be like, "Oh, that wasn't good. Well, I'll change it. It doesn't matter. I'm not. I don't. It's not my idea. I just want to do whatever you like. Like that's not. Just just have an idea, execute it well, present it. That's all the steps there needs to be." And when there's early access stuff, when there's uh, episodic stuff, it, it it just feels like you're ruining the game before it gets to its best potential. Whereas you could make it its best potential. You just want to rush it and get it out early and make the quick bug, as opposed to taking the time to make it be something you know good. Or maybe you just make the first one and see how people react to it and decide whether or not you want to make more. Well, yeah, but then if you don't want to make more, then you just have a piece of a story left hanging in the ether. And what if there is one or two people that really liked it and want to know what happens? And so just fuck them because not enough people felt the same way? I mean, that it, happens in most media. It, it does, really and does. it's really <laughs> shitty every single time. If you're going to make something and put it out there, it should have an ending... And even if the ending's not already there, you should follow through with it. Because otherwise, it's just a fuck you to anybody who's even wanting to take the time to invest it. If we all just start doing this early access thing all the time and just, you know, hoping that stuff might go good and understanding that developers are going to give up halfway through if not enough people care, then it's just going to lead to nobody caring in the long run. I think we've been at the point of the industry not caring for quite a while now. And you figure that indie devs would be the exception. Let's hope there's a better reason for them releasing episodic content. <laughs> Besides the fact that they just want the quick money? Doubt it. Well, I didn't give them any money anyway. There's that fucking shark DJ again. Oh, this is a uh, this is a 12-ounce mouse joke, I think. You think so? Yeah. I mean, there was the shark DJ. Going on here with this. Uh, I can see Claus. this. I could see this guy being heavily influenced by that weird avant-garde Adult Swim stuff. Twelve Ounce Mouse was a terrific show, and I have to kick every door because I'm cool. Yeah, I mean, is this supposed to be scary? What's happening now? Yeah, we're in a spook house. You know, a haunted house. Okay. We wanted to ride. That was a guy with a bucket on his head. That's not spooky. <laughs> we wanted to ride the vomit coaster, but it was closed. So we took the shortcut through the ghost house. Sure, sure. Yeah. To get to the vomit coaster. To get to the vomit coaster. Because we're... And what is this? What's the plot here again? He's trying... Okay, so get this. <laughs> he's a detective and he's trying to solve <clears throat> up some murders. But I don't know. He's just fucking off on a roller coaster right now. Yeah. I see that. Is there more to that? You said get this like there was a... That's it. That's the story. He's trying to solve a murder. And now he's off the vomit coaster and tied up. No, he reached the top, and then there was an explosion, and then we cut to a shot of a plane, and then he was standing on top of a line drawing of the plane, and now we're in a chair. That's what happened. Are we interested in seeing episode two of this? Not. I'm not particularly. Not even a little bit. No. Yeah. Well, all right then. I mean, it, it wasn't a... It, it wasn't a cohesive story. Things just happened. 
If they want to do like a Gary's Mod video of this with those characters and actually convey a story through that, I'd watch that. But yeah. as far as far as this game, you know, I like this game just as much as I like that Adult Swim show with the uh, that was made in an animation style very similar to that. It was the Bird Faced Man. Oh, Xander. Xander. I hated that show. Something with, uh, Chronicles. Uh, the You're Fallen thinking of Angel Xavier Angel. Renegade yeah. Angel. Xavier yeah, Renegade that was it. Angel. That was it. Yes. Yeah. yeah. No, I hated that show. Friend. Ooh, frutata. Later, Chomsky honk. <laughs> yeah, I tricked the trickster. See, still got the scar to prove it. I'm just gonna go take a shower. Look at the two of us. We could be like Beauty and the Beast. What do you say? Will you be my beast? Uh, yeah, I like this game exactly as much as that. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah. <laughs> it it, it well, was just as entertaining. Equally so. Well, good. It's a good way to eat up 15 minutes if you got it. Yeah, so, fair enough. And you don't have to pay for it if you don't want to. And I wouldn't. So we wouldn't. No, uh, not even a little. All right, then. I'm tied up. Am I about to be a lucky pony, or is this a bad guy type of one? Oh, bad guy one. Damn it. Will I, Detective Horace, get out of the chair and save the day? Find out in episode two of Detective Horace. Well, that was a spot of unbridled fun. Next week, we're going to get our grubby little hands in someone else's internet pie. Tune in when we ask, What is it worth? Woo!